Hello, sweet friends, and welcome back to my kitchen, and welcome back to this week's What's for Dinner. It is officially Croctober. I am honestly so excited, so you know what that means. I've got three more super easy, delicious Crock-Pot recipes to share with y'all, and I know you and your family are going to love these. <laughs> I think we need more. No, don't you dare. I doubted you. It's so good. Well, that's one of the best sandwiches you ever had. Yes. Yeah, I know. Okay, so for this first crock pot recipe, we are making Cool Ranch tacos. They are gonna be so good and have so much flavor. It is actually Monday, and a couple of weeks ago, my mom had this idea that every Monday night, we would all come over to the farm and have like a big family dinner, and y'all, I love it. I look forward to Monday nights every single week, and tonight, I am making dinner and taking it over there. So I need to go ahead and get this cooking so we can leave on time to get to the farm tonight. Okay, so for this recipe, all you're gonna need is some chicken breast, one packet of ranch seasoning, one packet of taco seasoning, a little bit of chicken broth, and then I did go ahead and lightly spray my crock pot with some cooking oil. Okay, so we just got to the farm. The chicken has been cooking in the crock pot for about three and a half, four hours. I just plugged it back in. It is pretty much almost done, but I feel like it still needs about 30 more minutes. And then I brought over all of the things to make tacos. So we have some sour cream, some cheese. I'm gonna shred some iceberg lettuce. I brought over some hot sauce. Y'all know Tapatio is my favorite. We also have some salsa, some chips in case someone wants to make um, like nachos instead of tacos. We have our taco shell some black beans I think I'm gonna put those on mine I have a lime avocado and tomato so literally the entire spread He just got a shower, cut the grass. Everybody else is already eaten. You can come in, Mom. We've all already eaten, so Bunky is coming in last. That's what we that's the smell we were looking for, boo. <laughs> I feel like I'm there. I feel like I'm there. What do you think, Mom? It was awesome. So good. <laughs> he said, Don't be putting me on camera tonight. Mm -mm. I need a shower like Okay. Let's see what our options are here. We got all the things. Well, of course, we need a little sprinkle of cheese. Mm -hmm. And when I say a little, I mean a lot. A lot. And then I'm gonna go with. Uh, I'm probably gonna put a little bit of everything on here, to be honest with you. I filled mine up so much I couldn't even eat it in the shell. I had to go get a fork and like eat out of my tortilla. Look at this though. That's some good. Shreds, isn't it? Wow. I feel like I have a gift of... Um, you and Iceberg Lettuce are yeah. champions. Mom loved it. She doesn't want to be on camera today. <laughs> Why is she being shy? She said she's been sweating oh. out in the yard all day. She said, I cannot be on camera today. Oh. Um. So this chicken is literally like three or four ingredients and it's just delicious and perfect for like a little easy family taco night, so y'all will have to really try it. I'm, I'm excited for you to taste it, B. You know what else I'm real excited about? What? 
<clears throat> the squeeze of lime. Yes. Did you have a squeeze of lime? No, I didn't. That's gonna be good. Oh yeah. Put that there, I'll come back to that one later. Did you get your avocado? Where's avocado? Oh. Right there. Um, we're getting a little bit, we're gonna go with this to start. Okay. <laughs> That's good. It's really good, right? Yeah. Perfect for the little family. Mm -hmm. Weeknight dinner, easy. Everyone loves it. And it's a wonderful change up from the regular old ground beef taco. Yeah, it's really good. Okay, wow. y'all. Crock pot, Cool Ranch, chicken, tacos, what's for dinner, and they are delicious. Y'all gotta make them. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna get started on our second crock pot recipe of the week, and tonight we are making a creamy chicken soup with spinach and potatoes. It's gonna have some bacon and cheese. Oh my goodness, I cannot wait. And y'all know I have like really become a fan of soups lately, and this one sounds right up my alley, and there's very few ingredients. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my chicken in here, and then go ahead and cut up our potatoes. Does that sound good to you? It actually does. I didn't know what it was we were concocting, but um, all of those things combined is going to be... So good. Yeah. But I will say, remember, we've been told to not put the bacon in until the end. Actually, the recipe calls for bacon to go in at the very end and also the spinach. So basically, you put those in last, just a minute or so, mm -hmm. stir it together, bam. So for the potatoes, I'm just using some baby gold potatoes and I'm gonna cut those up into bite-sized pieces. Okay, now to my chicken and potatoes, I'm gonna go ahead and add in our chicken broth. The actual recipe calls for a bone broth or water. I don't have bone broth, but I think the chicken will give it lots of flavor. So that's what I'm gonna use. And I'm just eyeballing this because I'm not making as much as what the original recipe calls for. So I'm pretty much eyeballing everything, which what is new, y'all know that's how it goes around here. But of course, I will leave the actual recipe in the description box with all of the measurements. So next we're gonna add in some ranch seasoning and then also some cream cheese. And the last thing to go in for right now is gonna be some freshly grated sharp cheddar cheese. I'm gonna give that a big stir, pop a lid on, and then this is gonna cook on high for about four hours. We'll take the lid off, give it a good stir, add in our spinach and our bacon, and then dinner will be ready for tonight. Okay, y'all, this soup has been cooking all day. It smells so good. It is time to pull this chicken out and shred it, and then we're gonna pop it back in here. And while I do that, you are gonna fry us some bacon. How's mm -hmm. that sound? <laughs> Because I want. You mentioned the one thing. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, Bunky is in rare form tonight. <laughs> I can't stop laughing. <laughs> you wanted to make sure. You wanted to make sure that the oven was um, perfectly clean for us before we started cooking our bacon. So thank you for. You know, now that I think about it, that makes like zero sense. I literally was gonna say something. And I was like, you know, I'm just gonna let him clean it. <laughs> wow. I'll do it again afterwards. Okay, How that sounds that? good. Okay, so we've got our bacon, we've got our extra cheese to put on top, so I'm gonna go ahead and add in a couple handfuls of our spinach, and then this will just kind of wilt in there for just a minute, and then our soup will be ready to eat. It's gonna be so good. Mm -hmm. And remember, with baby spinach, what? Less is more. What? Basically, what I'm trying to say is, you need to put in a lot. Oh my goodness! Okay, okay, <laughs> B. That's gonna that's gonna turn into nothing. But I don't want to just be eating spinach. Well, I do. Well, you should have made your own bowl. <laughs> I think we need more. No, don't you dare, Bunky! Don't you dare! Stop it. <laughs> 
Oh my gosh. Don't I'm you dare. I'm stop just, it. I'm just getting what's on the counter. No, quit. <laughs> quit right now. Stop it. Stop. Bunky. Okay, so that pretty much wilted. I'm just going to give it like 30 seconds to a minute and then we'll plate it up. Okay, first off, presentation, beautiful. The spinach in there gives it really beautiful color. So it looks like something you would get at a restaurant. So even before I eat it, it looks pretty. I gotta say, boo, I doubted you. Bunky always, and I mean always, doubts the crock pot recipes. I think because I always like put them on during the day so he doesn't see like what goes into it but he's always telling me i don't think this is going to be good and then every time he eats it he's like oh this is amazing mm -hmm. those potatoes are good they're good and in i don't there. even like potatoes yeah but they're so soft and like they're not too soft they're like just perfect creaminess yes this almost reminds me of like it's like potato soup yeah but then it's almost like like a chowder you know, mm -hmm. but then, but then you got some chicken in there and spinach. So it's like, it's like a potato soup chowder, chicken chowder. This is, is incredible. Is that a thing? And then you got bacon. Mm -hmm. And sorry, I shouldn't talk my mouth full. I was worried that it wouldn't be like very flavorful because the only seasoning I put in there was the ranch seasoning. I did add a little bit of black pepper, but I was like, I wonder if it's going to have enough flavor, but it truly does. That's Especially, all you put in there. That's it. You're it's, lying. No, I promise. Isn't that crazy? This is warm, cozy, delicious, super easy to make. Okay, y'all. We might have saved the best for last. I am so excited for tonight's dinner. Literally, the mouth jets are going just thinking about it. I cannot wait. We are going to make a creamy Caesar chicken. I'm going to shred it up. I'm going to toast some ciabatta bread, and then we're going to do some crisp, cold romaine on there with some extra Parmesan and make little sandwiches. Oh my goodness. It's going to be so good. And I feel like this recipe is very versatile. You can do lots of things with it, which I'll tell you in a second. But let me flip you around and show you these ingredients. It literally could not be any easier. Okay, so for this recipe, you're going to need some chicken breast, of course, some Caesar dressing, a little bit of garlic, and Parmesan cheese. I like using a mixture of both, but you don't have to. And then some Worcestershire sauce and a little bit of chicken broth. And I did go ahead and lightly grease our crock pot. Okay, that is it. Pop a lid on and this will cook on high for about four hours or you can do it on low for six. Okay, so I think our chicken is pretty much done and the recipe actually says to drain off a bunch of this liquid. I don't wanna drain it all off because I feel like that is some good flavor in there, but I will take some of it out, shred it, and then we're gonna add a little bit more Caesar dressing to this and then mix that all up. There's the oven. <laughs> I have my ciabatta bread right here. So I'm gonna um, slice these in half, put a little butter on them, and then I'll pop them in the oven for just a few minutes so they can get kind of crispy and delicious and get that mutter, that mutter. <laughs> get that butter to melt. Okay, so that's about how much I left in there. It's not very much. And I do see why it says to drain that off because I think the oil from that um, dressing kind of would make it very greasy. So that is drained. Now I'm gonna add a little bit more Caesar to this and shred the chicken.
Okay, I already made mine. Funky had to work late, so he's just now making his. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, yeah, go Should ahead. Should I taste it? Yes, please, because it's amazing. No, I want to be completely surprised. Okay, and Bunky wants to add <coughs> tomato and bacon yeah. to his. Mm -hmm. you, know what, you know where I feel like I am right now? Where? Panera bread. Oh, <laughs> Bunky, this is like a thousand <laughs> times better than Panera bread. And you know what this sauce reminds me of that I made in here? Something delicious. That kale Caesar dressing I used to make for our kale salads. It's like oh, so man. similar to that. Yeah. Amazing. Well, I need to get it on uh, a bun. I've been trying to hold out, wait for you to eat, but I need you to hurry up. See you then taking a bite. I took there. a bite. <laughs> I think I'm going. I'm going bacon next. Okay. We have leftover bacon from last night's crock pot. Yeah. Hopefully this. Ooh. What is it? What is it, boo? It was fogged up for a second. Oh. This is gonna be out of this world. You really warmed that back up. Let's go one more. Three slices of bacon, okay? That sounds good. Oh, that's hot. Okay, now tomato. Oh yeah. You're not even gonna be able to like close this thing. Mm. It's gonna be del delight. This is gonna be so good. And then plenty of lettuce. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we do. Pop your lid on. Yeah, cap it for me. <laughs> All right. Now, now that me, is a monster sandwich. But tell me that don't look good. It looks amazing. I already took a bite, so I know how delicious it is. So I'm gonna let Bunky tell you right. while I keep eating. Here it goes. Mm. I'm trying to hold back tears. <laughs> is it so good? Mmm. That is amazing. It is insane how good this is and how much flavor it has. And I'm sure Bunky's does with bacon. I would strongly recommend the bacon tomato. Mm -hmm. But even without that, this is... The chicken. Yeah. Well, just, you know what's nice too? What? The ciabatta bread kind of uh, yes. like absorbs a little bit of that the chicken juice. juice yeah. And it makes it like... It just transforms it. The ciabatta bread is a must, I feel. But here's what I was going to tell you guys. Like, this being versatile, you could cook this ahead of time, like on Sunday night. And you could put this on top of a salad, to make like a Caesar salad. You could put this in a wrap. And mm -hmm. I was even thinking, you could get like, for a party, King Hawaiian rolls and like provolone cheese. And then melt like some butter and garlic powder to brush on top. And make like little chicken Caesar King Hawaiian sandwich rolls, would that not be so good? Yeah. Or you can eat it just like this. I think this is a great way to eat it. It is dank. Like y'all, it's so, so, so good. <clears throat> oh, additional idea mm -hmm, here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I do think like, say you're kind of eating the sandwich in the, the fashion that I did. Mm -hmm. A mozzarella slice would be good. Yes. A mozzarella slice with this chicken, some bacon, the tomato, mm -hmm. and this romaine lettuce on ciabatta. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's the way to my heart. Yes. When you bite the chicken, yes, there's like juice. It's juicy. So you're it's gonna all be a napkin. Up in my beard. Yeah, you're gonna be a napkin. I had it like running down my face a second ago. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna go finish eating this. Y'all have to try it. It is 100 out of 100. So, so, so good. But I love y'all. Thank you so much for hanging out with us in the kitchen this week. I hope you enjoyed these crock pot recipes. If you have one that you love and want us to try, let us know what it is down below in the mm -hmm. comments. I'm sure everyone would love to read through some yummy crock pot recipes. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe. Y'all give this one a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Bye y'all. Little piggy strips. <laughs> Oh, Bunky. Little piggy. Little piggy strips. Just like my Boston books. <laughs> oh my gosh. You are another level. I ate a lot of candy today. What can I say? <laughs> and you just ate like half a carton of ice cream. Oh, uh, that could be a before dinner. Before dinner, you had ice cream. Let's give this another turn, shall we? Well, I might be sleepy after I eat this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, crack I'm cracking myself up now. You're making me laugh. <laughs>